Dear friends, I hope that this message finds you well. Our hearts beat every single moment in Eretz Yisrael, and we follow the constant developments in the war that Am Yisrael is waging in Eretz Yisrael. It's Am Yisrael's war. And on this past Shabbos, we paid a very heavy price. We all saw the news this morning that 14 soldiers died in intense fighting in Gaza. You know, in this morning in Daf Yomi we read their names to dedicate our learning Le'ili Nishmasam. And sometimes we hear these names, we hear the stories, and as time goes on, you know, we get little snippets of the lives of these extraordinary people who died al Kiddush Hashem, al Kiddush Hashem Ha'am Baha'aretz. And we hear it, and we see their ages, and we hear their stories, and we're heartbroken. But the truth is, our avoda is not simply to be sad over the loss. Our avoda, our sacred mission is to do something with the loss. You see, these precious soldiers, these precious young men, they died al Kiddush Hashem. They died for, an, or for Klal Yisrael, for the Jewish people, for Am Yisrael, for Eretz Yisrael, for our ancestral homeland. They were willing to give their lives because they believed in something higher, in something bigger. They believe in the continuity of the Jewish people and the continuity of the Jewish homeland of Eretz Yisrael. And so our sacred avoda, our responsibility, is to ensure that their sacrifice was not in vain. You see, these precious soldiers, they didn't just give their lives for the Jews who reside in Eretz Yisrael. They gave their lives for Am Yisrael, for the entire Jewish people, for you and me. So we may be 6,000 miles away, but their sacrifice was no less for their parents, for their siblings, for their spouse, for their children, than it is for us. They sacrificed their lives so that you and I could continue to be Jews, so that you and I could continue to have a homeland that we could choose to go to at any moment. That's why they gave their lives for us. So the responsibility rests upon us to justify that sacrifice. How do you justify the sacrifice? We have to ensure that each of us is living, or at least attempting to live, the best version of our lives. How could we do a little more? How could we push a little more? How could we grow a little more? There is a precious soldier on a front line who is willing to give his life for me. And if someone is willing to give their life and already 153 have already given their lives, then it behooves us to maximize the life that they are sacrificing for. It behooves us to maximize our own existence, recognizing the Mesiras Nefesh that our brothers are willing to make for us. We should be Zohar Amir Hashem to live the best version of our lives, to push ourselves to be better, to do more, and to live better. And in doing so, in doing so, give additional added meaning to the sacrifice of our precious soldiers. Should be a week of Besoros Tovos, should be a week of good tidings for the Jewish people. A week in which our soldiers are successful and come back to their families, B'Shalom and B'Karov. A week in which we see the return of each and every one of the hostages. A week of Geula, a week of maximized living. And Halavai, a week of Mashiach for all of Klal Yisrael.